Hello, welcome to Adventures and Pop-Ups. I am Rachel. This is your place for tips and tricks, hacks and mods, campsite reviews. We're making over the camper and today's special hot topic is how in the world do you attach curtains? That has been our question for some time. You see, the problem with our previous curtains, besides the fact that they're just a drab brown, but uh, the problem with our previous curtains, they had these C-clips. Pop-up campers have C-clips and they go onto a track and you can open and close the curtains. However, um, they're sewn on with this like fishing line type of thread, I guess you can call it. And it was lousy. It was getting like ripped off, popping off one by one. I do know that it's not just our problem. The previous owners had to have had the same problem because we found some that had Velcro, but the Velcro was coming off too. Everything was not sticking and not working. So we set out, I set out, I went to the pop-up camper group on Facebook. I said, guys, how are you attaching your curtains? What are you doing? How do I make this work? I hate these C-clips. Tell me what to do. So we got so many awesome responses and I want to share some ideas with you and then I'll let you know what idea that we are using that hopefully it will be fabulous. First option would be to reuse the C-clips. You could take them off. You could hand sew them back on. If you have done that, more power to you. I am not sewing through tiny plastic holes, sorry. Another option, there's something called glide tape and I will drop a link. However, I think it might specifically match the size of a, um, the other track that's for the, the dust ruffly, whatever you call that thing that we're, we're not replacing it. I'm just gonna tell you right now. We're gonna leave it plain. And um, you can buy something called glide tape and then you sew that right in and it's like built-in C-clips that you pop on there. They're kind of like more like a snap. If you try that, absolutely, as with anything, measure, measure, measure your stuff. Make sure you're getting the right size products for your specific pop-up camper model. Another idea that goes along with reusing the C-clips is to put command hooks over the C-clips. Now you have to use like plastic to plastic epoxy glue. You can't just be popping those. They will fall off in the heat and the cold. That was our main concern. If we stick something up there, is it just going to fall off? We have four kids, we have a dog. It gets cold in winter and hot in the summer. So we need something that's going to stay. We want something to stay. Then once you have the hook, you can take a curtain clip and just hook it on and do it that way. I think that's a fantastic idea. That's not actually what we're about to try. Another person idea we got off of Facebook is from Jenny Woodall. She put actual hook eyes. She screwed hook eyes into the existing C-clips and then was able to hang the curtain clips off of the, the is that what it's called? An eye, like a hook and eye. Here is an awesome idea. I recommend it to me on Facebook. Shout out to all you awesome people. There's something on Etsy called Pup Clips, and I will put a link. There's two different kinds of Pup Clips. The one kind has a hook that is like this, where you can just hang like shower curtain or um, pre-done things that have the grommets in them. You could just go do store-bought curtains, put them on the Pup Clips, and you're good to go. Measure, you might need to cut it in half. A lot of people, by the way, do like shower curtains. That's one of the things we've used is a shower curtain. One shower curtain, we were able to do all four bunk end curtains. That's what we're about to be hanging today. Yay! If you go over to Etsy, there's the, that kind of pup clip. And then the other kind of pup clip also snaps right on there, but it has a little hole. And then you can put in your curtain, um, your curtain clip into that. And there are different sizes of pup clips. You need to make sure you get the right size for your track. Ultimately, we decided not to do that because we have 12 curtains. That would have been like 80 pup clips. Is that right? Ugh, that's a lot. So someone else said that they saw someone use magnets. I don't know how. If you've seen that done, let me know. I know from learning the hard way, I ordered some really cool strong magnetic clips to try and hang something in our camper. 
our camper is not. Nothing in the whole camper is magnetic here except for the screws holding it together. Uh, apparently other people's campers are magnetic. Mine is not. Might want to check that out before you waste your money. Now, here's a cool idea. Uh, Kim, I don't know how to pronounce your last name off of Facebook. She did on her dinette slide out, which we have, she made um, tabs that actually just go right over the frame. So that's not even using a curtain track. She's got tabs going right over the, the frame and there you go it covers the whole area nice it even matches the uh, cushions because she used like leftover cushion fabric that's an awesome idea i love the way that looks it's cool something that a lot of people are doing and i do have a photo from christina celestial or celestial um, is a tension rod I'll, you can pretty much only get away with it on the bunk ends but if you just get a tension rod that that's the right size pop it up there you can leave it up there all the time you don't have to take it down but although i think some people do take it down every time just maybe depends on your pop-up a tension rod can be a great way to hang it easy there you go no screwing no gluing there it is and now is the way that we are about to try it is the seemingly possibly easiest and most economical way that I think is going to work for us. We don't have to worry about glue. We don't have to worry about screws or any drilling or any of that stuff. It is zip ties. I love this idea. Got it from the Facebook group. Thank you so much. This person put zip ties on the C-clips. See, this is one of the other things. We didn't want to take the C-clips down. We couldn't get them to come off. So we ripped the curtains down. The C-clips are still up there. So now we've put, my 13 year old and Blake put zip ties, the little bitty guys. They're like four inches. They're supposed to hold 18 pounds each. So I think that'll be just fine. Got the zip tie up there, tightened it down. And now I have a hundred pack of these curtain hangers. And so we're gonna put these curtain clips up and then I'm gonna try hanging our curtain and see how it goes. I'll let you know. That looks good. That was easy. For real, that was easy. I can do this. Okay, two down, 10 to go, plus the privacy curtain. By the way, our privacy curtain already had like a little hooky thing system. So we're doing exactly what it already was. It wasn't broken. We're not changing it. We're not fixing it. Thank you for tuning in to Adventures and Pop-Ups. This has been How to Hang Curtains. Tell me your ideas, tell me your wins, your losses, what you guys are thinking about, what you've tried. Thank you for being on our adventure with us. This has been a lot of fun and I'm really appreciative that you guys are along with us on this journey. If you haven't taken time to like and subscribe, go ahead and do that now. You're gonna wanna keep seeing what we got coming up. We've got a trip coming up. We gotta get all this wrapped up and put together before we hit the beach. Can't wait to go hit the beach bring our pop-up log cabin with us and our dog and our family we love making memories in our pop-up camper i hope you do too if you're thinking about it go for it you can't go wrong god bless you and happy camping <laughs>